Assalamu alaikum dear viewers in this video I am discussing about congenital chloride diarrhea CCD. So congenital chloride diarrhea common cause of severe congenital secretory diarrhea. We know that secretory diarrhea there is large volume of fluid loss occur. It is caused by a defect of the SCLC 26A3 gene causes defect in the chloride bicarbonate ion exchange transport system at the ileum and colon. So congenital chloride diarrhea mechanism of action is chloride bicarbonate exchange transport system at the ileum and colon. Now what are the prenatal findings this is risk factor these are maternal polyhydromnios dilated bowel loops and preterm birth. I am again repeating what is the prenatal findings of congenital chloride diarrhea these are maternal polyhydromnios dilated fetal bowel loops and preterm birth. What is the mode of inheritance mode of inheritance of congenital chloride diarrhea is it is an autosomal recessive condition and here gene is involved SLC 26A3. So congenital chloride diarrhea is an autosomal recessive condition. Now laboratory finding or investigations finding of congenital chloride diarrhea. Here we find metabolic alkalosis, hypochloremia, hypokalemia, hyponatremia, high plasma renin, high plasma aldosterone, acidic stool pH, high fecal chloride more than 90 millimole per liter and exceed the sum of fecal sodium and potassium. So the laboratory findings of congenital chloride diarrhea are this is very important metabolic alkalosis, hypochloremia, hypokalemia, hyponatremia, high plasma renin, high plasma aldosterone, acidic stool pH, high fecal chloride that is more than 90 millimole per liter and exceed the sum of fecal sodium and potassium. Now about treatment of congenital chloride diarrhea. Potassium chloride and sodium chloride replacement therapy symptoms can exaggerated by febrile illness. So how can we reduce the severity of the diarrhea via oral PPIs, cholestyramine and butyrates. So the treatment of congenital chloride diarrhea is potassium chloride and sodium chloride replacement therapy symptoms can be exacerbated by febrile illness and the severity of diarrhea we can reduce by oral PPIs, cholestyramine and butyrate. What are the long term complication of congenital chloride diarrhea? There is urinary infection, hyperuricemia and renal calcifications, renal insufficiency and hypertension. So long term complications are urinary infections, hyperuricemia with renal calcifications, renal insufficiency and hypertension. Now question from congenital chloride diarrhea. Question number 47 that is a new net 3 weeks antenatal ultrasound showing polyhydrobnios with diarrhea since birth and birth weight is 3.5 kg. No losing weight investigation showed chloride level is 89 that is low, sodium 122 that is low, potassium is also low and bicarbonate is 28 that is high, pH is about 7.48 that is high and urea is also high. So what is the most likely hair diagnosis? Hair diagnosis is congenital chloride losing diarrhea. As they mentioned that from birth there is diarrhea also polyhydromnios we are seeing polyhydromnios is a prenatal finding and we go for investigations we are seeing that hypochloremia, hyponatremia, hypokalemia and in increased level of bicarbonate and there is metabolic alkalosis is presenting finding of investigations. So diagnosis is confirmed congenital plural losing diarrhea. Please do subscribe and share Dr. Amma's medicine YouTube channel. Thank you.